there, welcome back. So last week I told you about how those cute animal videos can actually decrease stress and reinforce positive social behaviors like care and compassion. And I can always tell when a topic really hits home because so many of you gave me such great feedback on that one. So I thought I'd dig a little bit deeper into the scientific concept behind it called priming. Priming is really simple. It just means whatever has been elevated in our attention primes the brain for how we feel or behave or make decisions in a certain situation. For example, the cute baby and animal videos that demonstrate kindness and nurturing prime the brain for those attributes in the person who's viewing the, the videos. Numerous studies demonstrate this concept. In one, researchers used words that were related to the elderly stereotype, like old, wrinkled, tired, in a conversation with one group of adults. And they used age-neutral words with the other group, just normal words that have nothing to do with old age. The group that was primed with the elderly words actually walked away from the conversation more slowly than the interact than those primed with the age neutral words. They actually walked away like old people. Other studies have explored the way priming has shown connections between affiliation and pro-social behaviors. The way the cute baby and animal videos prime our brains for care and kindness and nurturing. In one study, subjects were shown a series of photos showing common household items with one of four primes in the background. Two figures together, one figure alone, two objects just serving as a baseline, or two figures back to back. And for each photograph, the researcher named the foreground object, its color, and its function, but said absolutely nothing about the prime in the background. After the presentation of the photographs, the researcher momentarily left the room and returned with a small bundle of six small sticks which she accidentally dropped on the floor while kneeling down. During the first 10 seconds after dropping the sticks, the experimenter said nothing. During the next 10 seconds, the experimenter looked toward those subjects who had not yet begun helping and said, my sticks have fallen on the floor. The results are amazing. They show that in the first 10 seconds after dropping the sticks, those who were primed with the together figures spontaneously helped three times more than each of the other three conditions. The together prime primed them to be helpful without prompting. But that isn't even the best part. What's really remarkable is that the subjects were only 18 months old. This study demonstrates that the brain is wired this way, and priming is not something we learn. It's not hocus pocus, it's really just focus. It opens up a wealth of possibilities for future research, including how subtle changes to the environment can pos positively prime uh, people and promote pro-social behavior in, at, in the workplace, in schools, in community centers, in hospitals. The best part is that each of us has the power to determine where we place our focus. If you want to learn more about how the brain works and how to make it work better for you, be on the lookout for my new book, Happier Hour with Einstein. It'll be available in the next few weeks. And if you enjoyed this Neuro Nugget, pass it on to someone in your corner of the world, because life is always better when you share the good stuff.